Today, there are more than 300 vehicles on the road in this country powered by hydrogen. Hydrogen? Hydrogen. 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 Hello, hashtag Pilot Talkers. I'm Pilot Franco. And I'm Pilot Mike. And welcome to the Pilot Talk Show. The vlog where we pilot talk about everything and anything in aviation. Ay, nako. Franco, ang mahal ng gas. Totoo yan. Nakaloka. Ano na kaya mangyayari sa mga ticket prices Yun natin? Yun ang tanong. But what if I told you that something as simple as this can one day power our jet engines? Mm. Para siyang magic. One day, it can fuel our cars, trucks, trains, and yes, even planes. Di hydrogen monoxide. Wow! <laughs> Kayo ba guys? Do you know the other name for dihydrogen monoxide? We're giving you five seconds to leave it in the comment section below. Five, four, three, two. Tubig lang pala. Nakakaloka ka. <laughs> ano ba yan? Ang dami mong sinabi. Pero yung nakakatawa dun, this may be the future of aviation. Join us as we explore how this can power your aircraft by 2035. But before that, please like the video. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's, Let's explore, explore the, the future, future of, of aviation. aviation. Okay, so maybe not water, but one of its elements. Let's go back to chemistry class. Favorite ko talaga to. Walter's chemical symbol is H2O. One day, jet engines can be powered by one of the components of water, which is hydrogen. hydrogen. Oh, let's geek out even more. Kasi since marami tayong curious na viewers, hydrogen is the very first element in the periodic table. It is also the most abundant element in the universe. You can even find it sa sun and stars. Parang jowa mo, sobrang clingy nito. It can usually be found attached to other elements such as oxygen in the form of water. But you can separate these two elements through a process called electrolysis. Electrolysis is a process by which electric current is passed through a substance to break the bonds of electrons and create chemical change. Nako, ang lalim. Pero, <laughs> mandali lang pala ang electrolysis eh. Sige nga, i-demo mo. O oh, sige na, ito na. O oh, yan guys, Game. experiment. Don't try this at home, ang delikado. Hiling ko dapat mas konti yung baking soda. So, anong tawag sa process na to? Electrolysis. Electrolysis ba o electro electrolysis? Oh, sabi ng chemistry teacher namin, electrolysis eh. Lysis. Electro Ay, Google mo nga. Electrolysis. Anong bet mo, Richard? Electrolysis or electrolysis? Electrolysis. Oh, ito. Electrolysis. <laughs> electrolysis. Ay, nako. Eh, kasalanan nung ano, teacher namin before. O, oh, yan na. Anisi ka pa? When the electricity from the battery passes through the water, you will see gas bubbles forming. These gas bubbles are oxygen and hydrogen. More hydrogen bubbles are created since there is twice the amount of hydrogen as compared to oxygen in the water. Kaya nga, H2O. Mm. So there are two ways that we can harness energy through this hydrogen. First, would be to ignite it because hydrogen gas is flammable. Second, you can use it to power what's called a fuel cell. A fuel cell is like a battery that is running on hydrogen and oxygen. The reaction creates electricity that can power an engine. And when this reaction happens, the byproduct is heat and water. This is why sobram big deal ng hydrogen in the world of energy right now. But this is not a new concept. The first fuel cell was invented back in 1842 by William Grove. In 1966, GM created the Electrovan, the very first hydrogen fuel cell van ever created. And now, hydrogen fuel is being experimented on by some airplane manufacturers. The Martin B57B of NACA flew for 20 minutes and used hydrogen fuel on its two right J65 engines. Teka, teka. Curious ako makita itong mga planes na to. Okay, ito yung first is Martin B57B by NACA. Ganda. Mukha siyang old school, no? Pero military din siya. Oo, oh, military din. Next naman is yung TU-155. Mukha siyang ano, 737. Triple engine siya. Ito naman, D820. Pang-sess na lang. Oo. 
O oh, ayan na, nakita na natin yung mga old aircrafts na hydrogen powered. And now, fast forward to 2020, Airbus has now presented three hydrogen powered airplane concepts called the Zero. Pero it's spelled as Zero with an E, which are aircrafts that have zero emissions. They are expecting these to be in service by 2035. Grabe, it's such an exciting very, time very. for technology talaga. Let's take a closer look at these airplanes. Airbus plans to offer the world's first zero-emission commercial aircraft. These zero aircraft will be hybrid hydrogen planes, meaning they will use hydrogen in two different ways. So the first is, will be as liquid hydrogen to be used as fuel for combustion with oxygen. Ngayon, the second will be as hydrogen fuel cells to create electricity and complement the gas turbine. See? Ano, may, may say-say naman pala yung pag-experiment natin kanina. Hindi puro kalokohan. Airbus is planning three airplanes. So the first two will look much like what we have in the market right now. Okay, mga 320, 330. But the first is a turbofan aircraft. They're planning to carry less than 200 passengers and can fly a range of 2,000 nautical miles. Oh, the second one naman is a bit smaller. Um, it's capable of carrying less than 100 passengers and traveling around 1,000 nautical miles. This may not sound like much, but having zero emission on these short-haul sectors can cut aviation emissions by up to 38%. Malaki rin yun. Oo nga, malaki yun. Ngayon, the third aircraft will look straight out of a sci-fi film utilizing a blended wing body design. This simply means that the fuselage seems to be seamlessly blend into the wings. This allows for a wide cabin and more space to store the hydrogen fuel cells. Space! Let's say that again, space! <laughs> Di lang jowa mo ang nanghihingi ng space, pati mga aeroplano. Grabe, alam mo, gasgas na gasgas yung joke mo, Mike. Eh, <laughs> di ko na may jowa, Brisset. Ano ba yan? Pero space is one of the main challenges when it comes to using hydrogen as fuel. Kasi it takes up so much space. Hydrogen has a volumetric energy that is one-third of the natural gases na ginagamit natin ngayon. Laki pala, pero ang lalim ng mga pinagsasabi mo ah. Pa-explain ka natin yun kay Richard. Oh Richard, oh, ali ka dito. So guys, the topic is food right now. That's why I'm here. Anyway, so imagine that your body is the airplane's engine and you use food as fuel. You have two choices for food. One is a burger and one is a big bowl of salad. The burger is like the fossil fuel that we use in airplanes right now. It's convenient, has a lot of calories slash energy, and it comes in a small package. But if you want to be powered by a salad, you're gonna need a bigger bowl and you'll need to eat more salad. Plus, salads are harder to get. So, yan nga. O, oh, ikaw, Richard. Kung papapiliin ka, salad or burger? Is that even a question? <laughs> of course, guys, burger. <laughs> Hindi ka sama sa script yung pagkagat. Kumagat <laughs> lang siya. <laughs> Ano ba yan? Nag-demo pa tayo? Burger yung pala pipili <laughs> ni Richard? This predicament is one of the problems this industry is facing right now. Hydrogen cells take up a lot of space unlike fuel that can be stored inside the aircraft's wings. This has to be stored inside the aircraft's fuselage, competing with precious space that could have otherwise been used for passengers or cargo. Fossil fuel is also easier to get since there are already existing infrastructure for this type of energy. Oh, yung mga gas, oh, mga eh. fuel tanks. So compare this with hydrogen. We just do not have the infrastructure to use hydrogen fuel in such a large scale. So kung sa fuel, we can just use yung mga sinabi kong fuel trucks at saka yung mga tanks, di ba nakabuilt yes. in yan underground, eh. ikakabit mo lang yung hose sa ground going to the aircraft. This can also be a plus side in the future if we invest the money for it because we know exactly where to build the infrastructure. Unlike sa mga cars where the refueling stations have to build all over the country, but with aviation and the maritime industry, we can just build them in the airports and piers. In fact, the H2 Hub Airport project is now in development, ba? This project aims to transform Paris airports into hydrogen hubs to support the European Commission's goal for zero emission aircraft by 2035. Clean hydrogen fuel is also difficult to produce. Remember when we told you na hydrogen is parang jowa mo, clingy, 
it has to be separated from other elements. Yes, most of the hydrogen today comes from gray hydrogen, where fossil fuel is used to create hydrogen. The problem is, this releases CO2 or carbon dioxide as a byproduct. Therefore, ano pang sense ng going green if CO2 rin naman ang byproduct? Parang walang sense. <laughs> <laughs> or we can also perform electrolysis of water using electricity from renewable energy. This is called green hydrogen. But this is very expensive and so far, only 1% of hydrogen is produced in this way. So as of the moment, liquid hydrogen is more than 4 times more expensive than conventional jet fuel. Over the coming decades, the prices is expected to drop as more and more infrastructure is created and becomes more efficient. But it is still a very expensive project. Yeah, so at the end of all this, mahal, mahirap, inconvenient. Guys, guys, gising na! The world is slowly waking up to the climate crisis. Kami nga as pilots, feeling namin, alam mo, parang palala ng palala yung mga bagyong nililiparan <laughs> yun natin. Nakakatakot yun eh. Ako oh. naman, feeling ko, pamahal ng pamahal ang aircon bills ko dahil sa init. Eh di mag-electric fan ka, ang laki ng problema mo eh. <laughs> Climate change is real, guys. And as more and more people are waking up to this reality, more and more companies as of now are striving for net zero or in other words, to cancel out the greenhouse gases we put out in the atmosphere. That is why don't forget to like this video so that other people can be notified and watch this regarding about climate change and hydrogen fuel. Oh, so kayo naman mga pilot talkers. Let us know what you guys are doing to help in climate change issues and leave them in the comment section below. So before we end, if you guys have any requests on what video content should we do next, please leave them in the comment section below or feel free to send us a message in any of our social media platforms. Can we reply? Ba tayo? Anyway guys, we always try to reply to each and every one of you. Pero kung hindi kami makareply, guys, pakisisi na lang si Pilot Mike. Okay, parang kasalanan <laughs> ko. Ay, nako. Huwag kayo maniwala dyan kay Richard. Anyways, guys, again, thank you. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'm Pilot Mike. I'm Pilot Richard. And I'm Pilot Franco. And this is The, the Pilot, Pilot Talk Show. Bye-bye! <laughs>